All right, welcome back, folks, and thanks for staying with us. President Biden has issued a sweeping new executive order on artificial intelligence while also promoting AI innovation. I'm here to discuss is the director of the White House office. Oh, President Biden has called AI, quote, the most consequential technology of our time. This executive order imposes some new safety guardrails on it. Explain this for us. Yeah, well, you're absolutely right. This is also touches on the chemical, biological, and even nuclear risks associated with artificial intelligence. You know, for people who don't know about AI, what are those risks? Well, you know, everything with our care and education, how could this be used as a good force, a force for good? Well, really helpful. It can help us get better health outcomes. It can help us be a lot more efficient. All right, Dr. Arthi Prabhakar, thank you very much. And great specs, by the way. We've been talking about your glasses all <laughs> afternoon. Thanks thank you. so much. Of Take course, care. you got it. And when we come back using music, uh, welcome back to GMA3. Looks good, right? Yeah. That was a quick look at the new series, Well Versed. The animated musical series is a launch pad to civic engagement for kids. And First Lady Jill Biden was on hand last week to introduce the series at a National Civic State event in Philadelphia. You know how much I love Philly. The oh, series yes. premieres today, and we are joined by its executive producer, Matthew C. Matt. So, this is so cool. You're getting kids to learn about politics through music. Like America. Why was diversity important? Well, it's really important to start them young. Yes, yes, for sure. You've got some famous ladies helping you out with this. <laughs> Jill Biden, Laura Bush. The first that this is not about party. It's about country, and it's about citizenship, and that starts even before you can vote. And so, my, and so that's how we teach these kids <laughs> at a younger age. And, you know, we, we all, all are now getting, right? we're getting, we're getting, exactly, lesson, right? we're getting Just too much. Well versed across all, and Jen has her eye on your Halloween pumpkin. Not over just yet. <laughs> we'll explain. Plus a growing trend. That may Back now with Dr. Jen, and we're talking about a pretty serious issue here. There's a mm -hmm. shortage of a drug that treats thinning hair. Right. And this is a real problem. Tell us about so this. This was a new study just about men and women, but recently, in the last couple of years, it's able to do this off label medications in Data, Washington, D.C., Virginia, and Maryland, a shortage of prescription medication. Now, again, it's this is an elective med supply. Imagine drugs that are not really optional, that are necessary. Just the latest example. So, what can you make that? decision for his or herself. All right, Doc, thank you. you we're back in a moment. All right, folks, we're back now with America's favorite doctor, Dr. Jen. Is that your song, by the way? I, I mean, I don't want to brag, but <laughs> it's one of them. We she does know all the words. Yeah, we have <laughs> seen it. All right, she's talking about post-Halloween prescriptions for wellness. Yeah, so you guys, pumpkins get all the attention because of their decorative use, but pumpkin seeds, you know, I don't like to overuse the word superfood, but mm -hmm. it really kind of is a superfood because those seeds are so good a pumpkin. Don't use it for you. Put them on a baking tray with you, a fire. and then you bake them for about 30 minutes. To, you know, yes. packed with protein and magnesium. Mm. Doesn't it just make you feel good? Yeah. Pumpkin seeds on the side of my pumpkin loaf. Start to get into the other things. You know, dazzling really been popular um, as well, and so big fan. Big Amazing. Fan. Sorry, now they're in my teeth. It's all good, <laughs> folks. We'd love to hear from you. So hit us up on Instagram with all. And coming up here on GMA3, we'll explore seven, the but what a voice to make it. All right, welcome back to GMA3. For those struggling with mental health disorders like PTSD, depression, and anxiety, treatment options can be limited. Emergent therapies have some patients and doctors excited, but are still in early stages. I went to a ketamine clinic here in New York to learn more about a new kind of therapy. And Dr. Jen, there's been so much promise in these studies that a drug maker has actually created a drug that's a derivative of ketamine that's now FDA approved for treatment resistant depression. Yeah, I mean, and we've talked before, this area um, is a nasal spray, but we have to remember a derivative of patients, different dosing, uh, different costs, and go for the cheapest or the closest location. This should be done ideally under. Good job. Thanks, guys. Well, we have a musical treat ahead for you here on GMA3. The seven-year-old singing sensation many are calling a tiny Frank Sinatra. Oh, he's amazing. I'm already clapping. And Tori's going to speak. Oh, so stylish. Oh, and has a little bag on the inside, too. It does. Uh, yes. Bling, bling. Bling, bling. Kenneth J. Lane. This is a cubic zirconia collection that looks truly like beautiful. And what's awesome about you with precious stones. So they have at 50% off and more. These start for, for your, a lot of bang for your, a lot of bling for your buck, I should say. A lot of bling for your buck. What is this all like okay, right here? This, this is, is cool. luminology. And we've got a couple of different things. Okay. So th this is awesome because it goes from a lantern and then you, there's a, um, 
flashlight. to a flashlight. So it kind of it's both, depending on where and when you need the light. The these are really great because these put this any place around your house. If there's a path that you want to illuminate, travel really for on cool. the go. Yeah. Everything slash and half starts at twenty dollars. Uh, amazing. Oh, love and it. then finally, Rappily, we're in the holiday season nice. now, and so oh, this is a tool company that's all about sustainability. They partner with. Um, newspaper presses and mm -hmm. they print on recycled paper just like cool. your newspaper so oftentimes use print so wrap rip that right is here. amazing Fun. thank you thank you very much Troy. we have partnered with these companies on these great deals and to get yours today you can just scan the qr code on your screen or visit our website for all of the best deals tori we love you. you and we are really excited we are going to love this next <laughs> guest he's just seven years old and he's already gone viral Oh, he's already captured our hearts right there, as you can see. Welcome back. Our next guest is seven-year-old Marcello Di Gregorio from Staten Hi, Island. Hi. Hi. He recently went viral when he wild diners at a local New, New York restaurant, rather, singing Beyond the Sea. He's charming. Mm -hmm. And the apple doesn't fall from the tree very far because Marcello is here. Thank you for being here. Yes. You know that? No. <laughs> Recognize that he had this talent. And so, so, yep, right. But let's say looking into the future a little, like maybe when you're 15, maybe even twin admire. All up. right, so here are my favorite singers. Now, you have a lot of fans, too. What are you this is as we say goodbye for today, so why don't you guys head over to the stage? Ah, we're in for a treat for all of us here at ABC News. Have yourself a great day. Now, let's listen to Beyond the Sea, Marcello Di Gregorio and his grandfather, Angelo Venuto. Take it away. Beyond the shore, say. 